Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. So, I completely miserably failed at getting a Valentine's Day look out for you guys. I know that I posted a picture of a look that I actually did for Valentine's Day, but I just didn't get around to edit it because I worked all day Saturday. So, yeah, work has been really crazy. And just everything else that I'm working on is just going crazy but anyways i wanted to make it up to you guys so i came up with this date night look that i thought would be really pretty when you go out with um with your boo with your bae um so yeah i kind of kept it like in the rose tone pink family if you will um i'm actually using a new palette um for this look i have been working with this company um since december already and it's code makeup i'll link them down below <laughs> i'll link them down below but this is the palette that i mostly use for this look i love it it is super pigmented and very affordable so if you guys are in the miami area make sure you guys check them out they are on south beach and i will link everything down below so yeah, I mostly used that and of course my Anastasia. So of course I used that and my Anastasia shadows. Um, and for my lashes, I used the Velour lashes and this is actually the Carly lash. So it's just um, a very wispy, pretty lash. But I think you could really see how beautiful it is without such a thick liner. And I realized that after I did my liner. But you guys know I can't be without my liner, so yes. Um, gotta work on stepping out of my comfort zone on that. But anyways, yeah, you guys. So this is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. All right, guys. So to get started, I am. What am I doing? I don't even know. Okay, I am adding some lip balm to my lips because this weather in Miami has been killing me, and my lips have been super chapped and just cracked and horrible. So to start off, I'm using Burnt Orange. This is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I am just using a tapered blending brush. And I'm just placing that um, right above my crease. I'm not putting it in any specific order. I'm kind of just placing it kind of there. I'm using my Code Makeup Palette. This is the number 26. I really had no idea where I was going with this look. That's why I was so indecisive. Um, so I was kind of just going with the punches. Um... I realized that I didn't have enough color, so I was just packing on more of that burnt orange. And I'm using a Sigma fluffy brush, and I'm really placing that into my crease just to kind of give me a... What's the word I'm looking for? Lord, what is the word I'm looking for? A guide to where I wanted to place my darker shadows. So I'm going in with this brown color from the Cold Makeup Palette, and it's just a really pretty almost rose colored brown and I'm just placing that right on my lid and I'm really really blending that up because I don't want there to be any harsh lines or anything crazy so I'm really really working that in then I'm going in with a little bit of a darker color here and I'm only focusing that towards the um, outer V portion and I'm bringing it in yeah I guess you can say that. I'm just bringing it into my lid halfway and yeah, blending it out. And it's a really pretty purple color. I love this palette, you guys. I definitely recommend you get it. So then I'm using this really, really pretty, it's like a purple, blue, silver um, shadow. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shimmer color. And I'm just placing that on my lid by dragging it down so I can get that wet look. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love this shadow. It's so pretty. And I love it. And I'm using a Shaney, um, flat shader brush to put this on my lid. And again, I'm dragging the color down to give it more of a wet look. And you get less fallout by doing this. So I've been doing this technique lately and it's really, really been working and you get the most out of your pigment. So I didn't feel like it was bright enough, so I used the color Legend from the Emrazy palette. Um, I don't think they have the Emrazy palette available anymore, but they do have it in single shadows from Anastasia. Then I went back in with that darker purple shade just to darken up my crease a little bit to add some, de uh, 
I was about to say definition. <laughs> um, definition to my eye. And now with a cleaner brush, I'm just kind of blending everything out to make sure that, again, there's no harsh lines and everything kind of goes with the flow perfectly. I added my Carly lashes and my eyeliner. Um, I don't know what happened to that clip. I've been losing clips left and right, but whatever. For foundation, I'm using my L'Oreal and I'm using my MAC Cosmetics um, Studio Fix and I am just packing that on my face to give my face a flawless finish because I was really broken out here and I just needed some really good coverage and MAC and L'Oreal together give me just that. And I'm just patting that on my face using a damp beauty blender and yeah, that is what we're doing. Patting on the product. I love this foundation. Like, my face looks so photoshopped. I love it. Don't worry about getting foundation under your eyes because that's going to be covered with concealer. So, here we are. I'm using the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard just to conceal my under eyes. Um, I highlight a lot with in this video. I used three concealers. So the first one is my NARS Creamy Concealer and I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. And I'm making sure to concentrate that mostly under my eyes because that's where I really, 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 really want to conceal. And then the rest I'll just brighten up with my other two concealers, which um, you'll see in a bit are my Code Makeup and my MAC Prep and Prime. So, yeah, it doesn't look caked on, I swear. It's just, you know, you gotta take these steps to look flawless. Next, I'm using this Code Makeup. Um, concealer to highlight. It does look really really yellow in the packaging, but it's really not. It's perfect to highlight and they go on like butter. I am absolutely obsessed with these concealers. I They're better than MAC and they're $14, so you really honestly cannot go wrong with them. Again, they're located on South Beach and I will link their website and everything down below. And you could order online, so don't worry about it. If you're not in Miami, you could still get them. Then I'm putting my MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost just right under um, where I put my Code Makeup Concealer. And I'm just really using this to really, really, really highlight because I love to be highlighted. So before I set everything, I'm using a mini beauty blender. And I am making sure there's no creases or nothing crazy like that because that is not cute. We don't want to crease. And I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I am so obsessed with this palette. You guys have no idea. I love my Anastasia Contour Kit. But ever since I got this Shade and Light Palette for my birthday, I haven't used my Contour Kit. And I feel like such a traitor. But the Kat Von D Kit is so... It's a... Oh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just amazing. I'll talk to you guys about it in another video. But... Yeah, now I'm just setting my whole face with my MAC powder. Um, and I am going to start bronzing up my face, bringing some color back. And I'm using the Kat Von D palette. Don't know what I was doing there, but I got completely out of the camera. But it's all good. And I'm using a MAC 109 brush to kind of just bronze up my face. And mark wherever I'm going in with my harsher contour. I look so mad. Resting bitch face at a thousand. Now I'm using the darkest color for the Kat Von D contour kit. And I am just carving out my cheekbones. And I'm using a slanted shiny contour brush. I absolutely love this brush for contouring. It is so bomb. Now I'm just cleaning up my contour using the um, yellow shade from the contour kit. The... Kat Von D one. This is just going to give your contour a much more sharper, cleaner look to it. And I'm adding Soft and Gentle by MAC. Oh no, I'm lying. I'm putting on the NARS Orgasm Blush and Margin by MAC. I'm putting that right on the apples of my cheeks. I love these two blushes together. This has been my go-to combination for the past couple of weeks and... I love it so much. It's just so pretty and it just gives you a really, really pretty 
color. I'm using the Highlight Champagne from Anastasia Beverly Hills to highlight right under my brows. And this is just a really pretty gold champagne color. Completely forgot to do this step, but... Now I'm going in with my highlight, and this is um, Max Soft and Gentle. I act I forgot how much I love this highlighter, but it's so bomb. This is a mineralized skin finish by Mac, and this is just a huge um, shiny fan brush. You could also use it to contour, but I love it most to highlight. And then I'm going in with Opal, and this is by Becca Cosmetics, and this small Morphe. Um, fan brush just to put it like right in the middle to really make me glue and then I'm putting it in my nose and right in the middle of my nose just to really give my face like a really really pretty glow because you guys know I love to glow and right there in my what is that? my cupid's bow right yeah to make my lips look bigger so now I am taking off my balm, and I'm going in with the Spice Liner. This is by MAC, one of my absolute favorites. And I'm going for a ombre lip in this video, so I'm just kind of filling in the outer portion of my mouth on top and bottom. And I'm making my liner a little bit thicker than I normally would, just to kind of get that really pretty effect. And ombre lips are a great way to make your lips look bigger and plumper and just very Kylie Jenner. And I am overlining them just a bit. Not too much, because my lips are already pretty full, but I kind of just wanted them to be a little bit more extra. I was feeling very extra this night. So, yeah. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in Pure Hollywood, and I'm really just putting that in the middle of my lips. I absolutely love these lipsticks. They are so creamy, and they give you time to work with, unlike other liquid lipsticks that you only have like two seconds to work with. These give you ample time, and they're super creamy. Now I'm just blending that in with the lip liner. And you can stop here if you want, like if you don't want to be too dramatic with the ombre. Um, you can totally just stop here and fix the liner, but I want it more. So, of course, I went in with more lip liner. And again, this is Spice, and I'm just kind of going over wherever I shaded the lip and just blending it out with just rubbing my lips together, pretty much. <laughs> so, yeah. You want to make sure that everything is blended, but you want to make sure that you can tell that you have lip liner on. Now I'm going in with a lighter liquid lipstick. Again, this is by another lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it's in the color Milkshake. When I first got this color, I was like, oh my god, this is too much. This is just crazy because it's really, 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 really pastel. But you just need the right combination, and it really is a beautiful color. I personally wouldn't be able to use it alone because it would just... I look dead. It washes me out. So I definitely need a stronger lip liner, but it's a beautiful color nonetheless. So I'm just blending that out, and we're done with the lips. And now I added some brown eyeliner to my waterline. You guys know I've been kind of straying away from a dark lower lash line, but the brown really does it for me. And I'm just setting that with the brown color from the Code Makeup palette. And I am setting the liner with that shadow. And this is just a little shader brush from Sigma. And then I'm just blending it out with this random brush. I think it's from like Essence of Beauty or something like that. I think I paid like two bucks for it or something. I poke myself in the eye. <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> so I'm just blending that out. Because I don't want it to look all types of crazy. Because you want everything to be blended and to look pretty. And you just want to have pretty on fleek. And then I'm adding the color Snow from the Lorac Pro 2 palette right in my tear duct just to give my eyes a much brighter and just prettier look, I guess you can say. So, yeah. I love doing this. I feel like it changes your entire makeup look. So, there you go, you guys. That is the look. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time.
Bye, guys. What is wrong with me?